Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm Tarun Sharma and uh, after hearing a lot of comments about uh, resuming the Swiggy clone app, I'm finally resuming it but it doesn't mean that I won't be talking about Uber Eats clone. Both these playlist, playlists are going to go parallel. I will be uploading videos for both these play playlists. I mean both are in the same business domain but the architecture and ideas are different for both the applications so they won't conflict i will start from wherever we left on the swiggy clone app uh, this was uh, i was just checking the code which is one year old uh, code and we need to do a lot of work to just update it and make it uh, standardized with the latest stack latest toolings and all it is using some react some nest yes nginx proxy and couple of things so let's do a simple review what we need to do as a next step so this is the react ui which is currently just a one react app we have there is a react admin console also we can build okay this react ui is using the firebase login because that was the easiest to integrate so if you just have a if you just create a user it will create a user in the firebase and it will give you the token so that token then we are using to access these apis and nginx proxy is just only for the local setup so my local host 3000 from the react app can talk to the local host uh, uh, local host same port because if you see the nginx config which we have it is saying oh, if you are hitting api view on the restaurant and we are going to hit this Swiggy microservice. So we were just updating our ETC host and then these are the just a simple internal proxy routing we have created and we are using it. So this is Nginx proxy. Now we will have other microservices in the Nest.js and we will just do the simple routing through the, through the Nginx proxy. Now how these uh, services are really acting? There is auth service which is doing nothing but only validating the token because we are not managing the users firebase is responsible for doing the authentication of the user you enter the username password the firebase will check if it is user exists it will give you the token and then that token you will pass to these respective services these services are again talking to auth service to authorize the token because to check if this token is has been created by firebase that particular app which we have configured on the firebase you need to talk to firebase again so this auth service is having integration with the the firebase which i was checking you can see here this is the firebase service and inside app module if we just see main.ts here we are just uh, initializing the firebase because we are using firebase at the api side to check if the incoming token in the APIs are valid or not okay so it's uh, it's a little bit of old code but we are going to upgrade the dependencies if you see the package JSON we are we might be using nest.js 7 now we have nest.js 9 so a lot of work I need to do in background before even I start creating content for it so first of all what what we need to do is update dependencies when I say update dependencies we are using react there is no next gsf which we will add we need to use react 18.x and i will need to upgrade my nest js to v9.x okay that is the first thing we will do second thing is we are not using any monorepo solution and which i don't like in 2023 so what i will do is i will just replace it with the pnpm workspace npm workspace and nx monorepo i will add so that we can start stop and automate all these tasks we have for all these different apps currently we have only three different apps auth service restaurant service and the react ui we need to add couple of more and then we will have uh, this pnpm workspace with nx monorepo setup so we can manage uh, packages also add all the reusable packages that we can do because now we have a react app also and it's going to have a swiggy ui and from the ui side so this is all about okay updating the dependencies and all even bootstrap
uh, services so we can create uh, services whatever is needed and then because we currently we have only restaurant service so i will just check the database if it is having all required entities and then bootstrap services fourth step is once we are done uh, because i currently am using this ui components in react which are using says or the styled components which i really don't like in 2023 even i never liked it i have to build it because i need to build some ui but now what i'm going to do is offline i will i'm going to work on it and i'm going to introduce tailwind styling for our front end app there will be some changes but still i'm going to keep the the look and feel of the ui is still same as the swiggy app but we are going to use tailwind css with the react app i mean tailwind css and it is going to have a react plus typescript and other than that because in current project we are using redux which i can replace with the redux toolkit i'm not going to make a fake promises which i cannot uh, which i cannot fulfill because obviously i cannot code whole day for these full stack app but what i will do is redux doesn't look nicer now we can use redux toolkit or we can use context apis and all to manage our state because it's not really very very big application still we can manage it with the context and use reducers okay we will introduce hooks all the the latest concepts which are already there we will still use the state management solutions okay and a uh, couple of more libraries we will add just to make the the nice look and feel uh, for this i mean we need to use couple of react libraries for the infinite scroll for some kind of a loading animations prop showing the progress bar and all so i will decide and i will work on that and then we will have a demo that these are the changes i have done for this tailwind app okay redux toolkit this is another change and six uh, okay this is on the api side you know, on the front end side building the components and doing the api integration which we already have somewhat we will change it uh, we will have the restaurant service end to end ready and then we will integrate the couple of apis uh, redux we are going to use okay what else we can think just let me think we can introduce another app maybe if we have a chance we can talk about uh, next cs another app so there is an admin portal that can we can build in next 13 and it will also use this firebase right firebase login is easy to integrate now for the authentication there are n number of solutions available i don't want to do change it let's keep using firebase uh, so this is like admin portal we will build and then we we will add order service this is a plain nest js yes. so we'll just copy the logic whatever we have written in the restaurant service we'll replace the entities and we'll expose the rest interface from order service so there are a couple of things we need to do okay we will we will introduce the restaurant entity restaurant dish restaurant address and then uh you will start adding your uh, you will start buying stuff from buying food from this swiggy clone so we need to have order service or cart service so we can manage the data that then it's all about managing the data once we have things up and running with this and then i will not talk about deploying it to aws first let's use simple netlify netlify for react app and next js app for this next js services we will find a solution first i want we want i want to have the the local app and running and then we will think about deploying this so this is you can say the the things we need which we need to talk about where if we are moving forward and so what i will do is first of all update the dependencies for the whole project introduce workspace and the annex monorepo and bootstrap couple of more services and then we are, i'm going to upgrade the the ui components maybe i will scrap lot of components which are already there and reuse some of the code introduce the tailwind with the react typescript react js 18 
and I will give a nice and clean demo. Okay, these are the changes I have done because there will be an error here and there and I don't want to record all the errors which are going to happen. I need to clean all the dependencies, remove dependencies, add dependencies, whatever is needed. But I have already talked about what is PNPM and what is the, the workspace solutions we have. Next, yes, you already know I'm covering since a couple of years now. So let's see in the next video uh, with you can see the revamp version of the revamp version of the Swiggy clone which we have built till now.